What's up, everyone? And as you can see by my shirt, I have a Rob Zombie shirt on. We are here to talk about Rob Zombie's Halloween, his reimagining of a classic horror slasher, John Carpenter's Halloween. We're going to get into some spoilers today. So if you haven't seen this film, you have to go run out and check out this film and then come back so we can talk about it. So Rob Zombie's Halloween, this one really did come out in that kind of era of the remake hype, you know, we had Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the remake, we had House of Wax, Last House on the Left, like a bunch of those films coming out around this time. So it came out in the height of that era when remakes were really happening in horror all over the place. So we're going to get into why I like this film and the positives and what, you know, I really do enjoy about this movie and this version of Halloween. Right off the bat for Rob Zombie's Halloween, he has a great ensemble cast. We have like some of these names, Daniel Harris, D. Wallace, we got Malcolm McDowell, Brad Dorff, like there's Scout Taylor Compton. There are amazing actors all throughout this film, Danny Trejo, and like some of them are just like cameos and others are more main characters, but it just, like I said, the ensemble cast, I think this film has probably the greatest cast that we've had in like any Halloween franchise film. Let off your face. Also add to that, Rob Zombie really knows how to shoot a film, like the cinematography, the colors, the design of this movie. It is really beautiful looking, even Halloween 2 when we get into that one, but we'll talk about that one next. But, oh man, like I said, the, the way it looks, the shots, the you know, colorization, everything about this film, it has a certain vibe, and Rob Zombie really nailed it. And like I said, he has an eye for that camera work and how to place the camera and where to move the camera and all that kind of stuff. He really does have a good eye for that. I also didn't mind that Rob Zombie tried to give that origin story to Michael Myers showing us that beginning of him as a child and, you know, his life. He did more of the nature nurture thing of showing you like, you know, Michael, like he had these terrorizing things in nature, like I said, and nurture that perfect balance that turned him into the killer that we know him to be later. So a lot of fans, they didn't really take to that because they like more of that. Michael doesn't need an explanation, you know what I mean? He's just kind of a dark, evil force without, you know, without reason. He just goes at you. But I think this one was kind of cool because Rob Zombie dared to do what no other director dared before. Except for like 4, 5, and 6. They kind of tried to give Michael Myers a little bit of origin of why he does the way what he does. But I think Rob Zombie really did tackle it in an awesome way. And Malcolm McDowell in that first 15 to 20 minutes is just an amazing actor when he's dealing with the child, Michael Myers. Also, we have the most visceral and gruesome Michael Myers of any of the Halloween franchise films, Rob Zombie, in both of his movies. This is the most brutal you're ever going to see Michael Myers. Tyler Maine plays him, and he is, you know, huge, menacing, big, intimidating, and all the scenes that he gets to do, all these crazy kills and, you know, violent stuff, like, oh man, it, it hits and packs a punch for sure. And I also do like the second part of the film. Like, I don't think it feels like two different movies, and I think that second half of the film isn't really a copycat of John Carpenter's Halloween. Yes, it does follow the same kind of plot points, but it isn't a shot for shot like copy at all. You know, Rob Zombie finds a way to do his own creative things in that second part of the film as well. And I think this one is just very gripping and emotional. Like the the actors and actresses in this movie, like they all pack a punch. All the writing in this movie, I think the writing isn't that bad. I actually think Rob Zombie's writing is pretty good. You know, other people will disagree horribly that they think Rob Zombie shouldn't write his movies at all, but I think his writing actually does pretty good. And like I said, the actors and actresses in this movie you feel for them and when we have these really thick emotional scenes you can really feel the weight of the scene so let's get into talking about some of the negatives of this film and there's just a few like a couple nitpicky things and then one big thing and that's really like about it but most of the movie i do really do enjoy and as for me some of the small nitpicky things with rob zombies halloween is i think the child actor in the beginning that plays michael i don't really have a problem with that actor I just think when he, after he does the kills and he gets locked up into the mental hospital and Malcolm McDowell's working with him, I think the kid talks too much. I really think he kind of should have shut down after he did the killings and did, does what he does in the beginning of the movie. I think he should have just shut down, and I really don't think he should have talked at all when we were in that mental hospital sequences. Also, I do feel the pacing on this one is a little bit jarring. Like, it's a little out of control. It doesn't have like a really good like kind of smooth pacing it's kind of up and down like and we do follow Michael a lot so it's more like 
this actually does this isn't a negative that the pacing is kind of a negative that for me is a negative but a positive for me is that this does feel like more like a michael myers film like his he is the main character even going into halloween 2 rob zombies halloween films i feel like myers is more of the main character than laurie and all the other characters and another small nitpicky thing is like oh man it's, it might not be a nitpicky thing because i really thought rob zombie would go this way I wanted Rob Zombie to be that first director that dared to have Michael Myers actually get to Laurie. So there's a certain sequence when like Laurie's going through this like getting attacked in the house with Tommy Doyle and the the other girl that she's babysitting and they're getting attacked in the house by Michael and she gets taken out and he walks down the street like carrying Laurie like this and then you just hear like kind of sirens and he's carrying her. I wanted that to be the ending shot. It didn't have to be right there because I wanted it to be after she gets taken out of the car when she's talking to Malcolm McDowell and she asks him, was that the boogeyman? And he's like, as a matter of fact, that was like, you know, I wanted that to be the end. Michael Myers rips her out of the car and then cut, cut that shot in at the end where he's walking away with Lori holding her and you just hear sirens in the background. You know, he knocked out Loomis or crushed his head or something like I really wanted Rob Zombie to be the one director to dare to go that way. And uh, he didn't, but still, like I said, I do have a blast with this movie. Rob Zombie's Halloween, in my book, is going to get an 8 out of a 10. This is a very solid film, I think, for sure. I think he did a really cool, his own way of doing the Halloween film. And, you know, didn't, to me, he did a good homages, but didn't copycat John Carpenter's. And that's what I really did like about it. Thanks for sticking around with me. I hope you enjoyed this review of talking about Rob Zombie's Halloween. Next, we're going to be on to Rob Zombie's Halloween 2, which is probably even a more divisive and more jarring film than even his first Rob Zombie Halloween, you know, with splitting the fan base. But hopefully, of course, stick to the channel and like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. We're going to be having other spooky videos coming up. And as I said, too, I'm going to be planning on doing my top 10 films to watch around the Halloween season. So the ones that really embody that horror fall Halloween season. So as of course, like I said, stay tuned to the channel and have a safe and happy day, everyone. Peace out.